recording here just so that our other friends that didn't join us today um, can watch it later. So, um, so we'll probably go get started here. Today we're going to talk about owls. So one of my animals today, we're going to talk about owls and we're going to do some owl listening. So if you don't see owls, you'll be able to hear them and know what they sound like. So my name is Monica and I work for the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. And my friend Amanda is joining us today too. She's in Western Nebraska, so way on the other side of the state. And we're gonna talk about owls. Uh, so the book that we're gonna to read today, maybe you guys have seen it, it's called Little Owls Day. There's also a book called Little Owls Night, but we're gonna read this one since it's daylight outside and it's not nighttime. And then we're gonna talk about owls in Nebraska. All right, so can you guys all see everything okay? All right, so. All right, so. Chick, 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 chick. A squirrel was chittering loudly. Little owl could sleep no more. He blinked and opened his eyes. Are owls usually awake during the daytime? No, not usually. Some are, but some aren't. All right, too bright to be moon. This must be the sun, he whispered. Little owl yawned, mama, go back to sleep. But little owl was wide awake. So there's the owl and the squirrel woke him up and he thought that was the moon, but it was actually the sun. Wrens were trilling sweetly. The ground was covered in flowers. Little Owl had never seen flowers. Their petals were open for the sun and the bees. Moths, Little Owl called, but no, these were butterflies. Remember, moths are usually out during the nighttime when he's usually awake. Little Owl thought he knew the forest well but it seems so different now. <clears throat> Dragonflies were skimming the pond. They even flew backwards. Little Owl couldn't wait to tell the bats. How many of you guys have seen dragonflies before? Yeah, lots of dragonflies. Or how many of you guys have seen a bat? Anyone seen a bat? Maybe. They usually come out during the nighttime or the daytime, you think? I see nighttime. Yeah, they usually come out during the nighttime, don't they? Snakes slid into the water, gliding among the lilies and the reeds. Turtle was sunning herself on the rocks. The meadow erupted with barks and yips. Wolf pups were at play. Their mother howled and the pups dashed off to meet her. You guys see little owl? He's right there. Near Grumbly Cave, there was a bear splashing after fish. You're always asleep, little owl said, when I want to show you the moon. You're always asleep, bear said, when I want to show you the rainbow. Come. Little Owl had never been to the waterfall. How many of you guys have seen a rainbow? Does it look like this? No. <laughs> At sunset, Little Owl started home. Deer bit blackberries from thorny branches. Bears were rooting around the brambles. A piglet squealed, little owl is awake. Hello, little owl squealed to her. The possums were just stirring. Hedgehog was still sleeping, so mice feasted on mushrooms. Stars began to glitter as the sky went dark. You guys see, do you see the bats? Sorry, there's a glare. There's the bats. Yeah, and is that the sun or is that the moon then? That's the moon, yeah. 
The moon was rising. Little Owl reached his tree. A bunny nodded a sweet good night and ducked into her burrow. Little Owl was astonished. She'd lived just below. Little Owl was excited to tell Raccoon all about his day. Then he had one more place to go. Little Owl was sleepy, but he had promised Bear he'd show him the moon. And there's the moon, and there's little owl and bear and the raccoon. All right, that was it. That was all about our owl. All right, I'm going to All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about owls. So how many of you guys have ever heard an owl before, or maybe you think you've heard an owl before. Can you guys make an owl noise for me? You guys can unmute yourselves too. I think I let there we go. You guys want to make your best owl noise? Very good. So you guys think that all sound the same? Yeah. Do owls all sound the same? No, they don't. There's a lot of different kinds of owls in Nebraska. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some owls and what they sound like. So I'm going to share my screen so you guys can hear them. All right, so one of my favorite birds, I hope you guys will be able to hear this, is called a barred owl, which looks like this guy right here. They have big stripes running down their body and they're pretty big birds. And <coughs> they sound like this. Maybe, let me turn up my sound here for you. Yeah, let me change this. You guys hear that? You guys hear anything? No. No. <laughs> Try it again. Oh, daddy. Oh, dad. It isn't hear anything. When you shared your screen, did you click the little box at the bottom that said share your sound? Hopefully. Sorry, guys. Hold on a sec. Let me try this again. <clears throat> Share screen. Share computer sound. Let's try this one more time. All right. I'm so sorry, guys. Let's try this one more time. This is called a barred owl. How do you hear it? There we go. That's cool. We've heard that. Yeah, Daddy has one. Yeah, so it doesn't really sound like a hoo, hoo, hoo noise, does it? Let's listen one more time. Listen. Almost sounds like a horse at the end, doesn't it? So that's a barred owl. Let's see if we can see a different type of owl. How many of you guys know what a snowy owl is? Maybe you've watched Harry Potter or you've seen a snowy owl before. They're really, really big white birds. We haven't. I haven't seen them. You haven't? Well, no, I haven't seen a real one. Neither have I. I would love to see a snowy owl. Let's see if we can listen to what a snowy owl sounds like. They, they sound really, really different. Can we hear that? Mm -hmm. It sounds almost like a dog barking. Weird. That's what an owl sounds like. Whoa, that's really different, isn't it? So we went from one that sounded like a horse and now we listen to one that kind of sounded like a dog. All right, so we have another owl in Nebraska called barn owl. And this is my favorite, but they're 
their call is a little sometimes scary if you hear it. Let's see if you guys have ever heard this noise before. Whoa, screeching noise. That's different. How many of you have heard that noise before? Anybody? Uh, no. Couple of you guys, maybe. So that's our barn owl. And these guys are really pretty because they have a heart shaped face. And they get their name barn owl because sometimes you can find them in barns, but a lot of times they're going to be in trees and you really have to listen for them and you hear that screeching noise. All right. So you guys remember in our book, there was an owl that was out during the daytime, right? Well, we do have one of those in Nebraska and it's called a burrowing owl. And they're really small, they're only like this big. And these guys live underground in the And let's listen to what they sound like. So that's a burrowing Whoa, that was different, wasn't it? Yeah, I hear some of you doing it. Good job. All right. There's a couple more owls I want to show you. I'm sure everyone has seen these guys or heard these guys before. This is called a great horned owl. These are the ones that look like they have little little ears sticking up, those little feathers. Double ears. Yeah, they do look like they have ears, don't they? These are the ones that you guys were doing such a good job making noises. You did the hoo hoo noise earlier. Let's listen. I bet you guys have heard this before. I've heard that sound at our park. Yeah, you have? I hear that. There we go. Sometimes you'll hear them, uh, especially now. This is when they're kind of finding a, a female or a male to be with and they're calling to each other. So you guys might hear this a lot right now. All right. And then there's one more owl that I want you guys to hear. And it is interesting it's called a screech owl these guys are really cool in nebraska they only get to be about this big and they're really good at camouflage do you guys know what camouflage is what is that is that when they blend into their their surroundings or their habitat so they're really hard to see but let's listen to what a screech owl sounds like Sounds like a horse. That does sound like a horse. It does sound like a horse, right? Who thought that a screech owl was gonna screech? Because I thought they would screech, but they sound kind of like a horse. Yeah. Barred owl kind of sounds like a like a screech. All right. There's a couple other owls that we just don't have in Nebraska that you guys can go ahead and look at on your own. Maybe sometime you can find those um, those sounds and listen to them. But we have quite a few owls in Nebraska. And I bet all of you guys have maybe at least one of those sounds before. Or maybe you've even seen an owl before. How many of you guys have seen an owl, did you say? Do you think you've seen an owl or heard an owl maybe? Good, yeah. All right. So that's all that I have today. Um, I was gonna show you guys some taxidermied owls, but I'm all snowed in at my house and, and I couldn't bring them home with me. So um, that was our owls for today, but um, maybe if you guys are outside and you hear some of these noises, think about maybe what owls you're hearing or what owls you think you might be seeing. So um, next week, Amanda is gonna join us and we're gonna talk about groundhogs that right? Yes, groundhogs. And it's Groundhogs Day. Yay. Yeah. So Amanda's going to read us a really cool book about groundhogs. And we're going to talk all about groundhogs on Groundhog Day. So 
Remember to join us, you guys, next week, uh, same time, 10 a.m. on Tuesdays. Um, hopefully not all of you guys are snowed in then too. And we have um, some more friends that are able to join us too. So, all right. We're gonna go ahead and let you guys go back to your snow day, okay? But thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.